I'm Melissa Sardelli, and here's a look at the stories getting the most clicks on WPRI.com for Thursday, May 27th. One person is seriously hurt after a crash in Cranston. This was the scene at 11 last night on Reservoir Avenue. We're told the driver lost control, rolled the car over, and knocked down a utility pole. The driver was rushed to the hospital. There's no word on his or her condition tonight. And Eyewitness News is working new details on several stories tonight. First, a former Portsmouth Little League coach arrested over a heated argument faces a judge. Douglas Owen was arraigned this morning on disorderly conduct charges. Police say last week Owens shouted profanities and threatened an opposing team's coach. Douglas tells Eyewitness News that he regrets the incident. He's no longer coaching the team. An investigation is underway at a Providence Elementary School over claims that a student allegedly brought weapons into the Webster Elementary School. School officials tell Eyewitness News the male student in question is a sixth grader. He's being asked to stay home for the remainder of the week while school officials and police investigate the claims. And we have new details on a local school official accused of stalking a school worker. Pawtucket School Committee member Amy Brozalt is now facing charges of cyber stalking and making obscene phone calls. And as we told you last December, she was charged with felony stalking. Investigators say she was stalking a janitor at Jenks Junior High School. And be sure to stay right here on WPRI.com for all your latest news.